Hello, baseball fans and sports fans out there. That's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I'm here with Game 3 of the 2001 World Series between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the New York Yankees. Now, I will be playing a game of this World Series every night after the actual uh, an actual, the commensurate game of the World Series through at least game four. But I expect to probably fall off the pace a little bit after that. Uh, but we will eventually play all of the games of this series as far as this series goes. So um, in real life, right now, the Diamondbacks in 2001 were up two games to nothing on the Yankees. Um, but currently, the series is tied one game apiece in the replay. Um, so we will see what happens with this one. And as you remember, the real one went seven games. Now, in this particular game, in real life, the Yankees won the game two to one. Lineups, I will be using the actual lineups and the actual starting pitcher from the actual uh, commensurate game in real life. So if you go to, you know, whatever you do, baseballreference.com, you will see these lineups for game three. You will see these starting pitchers for game three. And by the way, the starting pitchers will be, this game is in Yankee Stadium. The series is moving to Yankee Stadium from Bank One Ballpark in Arizona. Um, the starting pitchers are going to be Brian Anderson for the uh, Diamondbacks and Roger Clemens for the New York Yankees. Now, as I said, the real life game was two to one, uh, but I don't expect that to happen here. I don't see how that'll happen because Brian Anderson in real life was in 2001 was four and nine with a 520 earned run average. Um, so. We'll see what happens with that while Roger the Dodger Clemens, Rocket Clemens, was 20 and 3 with a 351 earned run average. So there's a big disparity in the two pitchers. It is amazing that the actual score was only 2 to 1. Um, so we will get on with the game. The visiting team is Arizona. I'll go over the lineups as they come up. The lineup for the uh, uh, visiting Diamondbacks will be Craig Council at second base, leading off. The number two hitter is Steve Finley, the center fielder. Luis Gonzalez will be the third hitter and playing left field. In the cleanup spot, as in games one and two, will be Reggie Sanders, the right fielder. Uh, Uribeo Durazo will be the DH. We uh, Since we moved to Yankee Stadium, we are now using the DH. Matt Williams will bat sixth and be the third baseman. Mark Grace will bat seventh and be at first. Damian Miller will be the catcher, batting eighth. And Tony Womack will bat ninth and be the shortstop. He's led off in the first two games, but we'll get on with the, uh, with the game and uh, see what happens. So Craig Council leading off against the Rocket, and that is going to be a 6-4. And that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop for the Yankees is Jeter, the captain, and he's a 2E17. That is a 6. It's probably an out, and it is. So one away. Council goes 6-3. to three. And there's one down. And Steve Finley is the batter, the center fielder. He gets a 1-3 against a right-handed pitcher that is going to be a single to center field. So Finley is aboard. He is a stealing B for the moment. We're just going to keep him there. Gonzalez is up and he gets a 4-3 and he is a left-handed batter and uh, that's going to be a ground ball to the third base. Um, third baseman and that is Brocious and he is a 2E30 that is a 16 
So I'm going to say probably that's an out. And it is a ground ball double play. So not stealing turned out to be a bad idea. Um, well, if he would have made it. But anyway, he goes 5-4-3. Uh, and Arizona gets no runs. In the top of the first, we go to the bottom of the first. Chuck Knobloch is up. And he gets a 2-9, and 2-9 is uh, Anderson is a lefty, and that's going to be a hit by pitch. So now Block is aboard. He's hit by a pitch, and I should go over the lineup for the Yankees. Chuck Knobloch, as you just saw, hit will is the left fielder and the leadoff hitter. Then Derek Jeter, the captain at shortstop. Batting third will be Paul O'Neill. He's making his first appearance in this World Series. For some reason, Bernie Williams uh, will be the uh, cleanup hitter and, bat and playing center field. Tino Martinez is the first baseman batting fifth. Jorge Posada will be the catcher batting sixth. Shane Spencer is batting seventh and he's playing left field. Scott Brocious is the third baseman batting eighth. And Alfonso Soriano is the second baseman batting ninth. Now, Chuck Knobloch is aboard. He is a stealing double A. I am going to try to steal it. That is an 11, and so he makes it because there is nothing. I don't think there's any kind of combination of anything. I mean, we'll check it just for, um, you know, just for sanity's sake. Uh, but I don't think that there's any combination of, let's see, negative 1 and uh, negative 6. Six. I don't know. That is. That's close. That would be close. Negative six and a double A is a one to seventeen. So he just barely makes it, but he still does. So he steals. Uh, he steals second base. Knobloch is at second with nobody out, and Derek Jeter, the captain, is up, and he gets a one six. And that's going to be a uh, double. So Jeter doubles him home. Knobloch scores. And just like that, the Yankees have a score. And O'Neill is the batter. And so Anderson gives up, uh, what, uh, a hit by pitch and then a hit and then a run and then an earned run. O'Neill gets a 6-7. He is a lefty. And that is going to be a single double asterisk and score the, the runner at second, who is Jeter. So Jeter scores on a single by Paul O'Neill. And all of a sudden, Anderson is behind to a uh, pitcher that he does not want to get behind against. Bernie Williams is the batter, and he gets a 5-9 switch hitter, so he would bat right. And that is going to be a home run! It's a ballpark homer! And by the way, New York, uh, the uh, Yankee Stadium is a 1-9 for lefties and righties home run, and it's a 1-4 single for lefties and righties. And Bernie Williams just went deep. Hitting a home run, and uh, I don't think Brian Anderson is going to be in this game very long. Although, going up against the Rocket, it's one might argue it's already too late. It's 4 nothing, and Tino Martinez comes up. He gets a 2-5, and that's against the lefty, and that is going to be a fly ball right field. It's a deep fly ball to right field. But it is an out. Jorge Posada comes up. He gets a 4-7. And he is a switch hitter. So he would bat right. And that's going to be a pop out to shortstop. And that brings up Shane Spencer. And he gets a 6-6. Six, six. He is a right-handed batter. And that is a ground ball to the shortstop. 6-3. to three. So the Yankees are out of the inning, but not before they score four runs. 
um, with the uh, biggest blow coming on a home run by Bernie Williams. And we're going to the top of the second. And again, I'm going to use my usual disclaimer. If you can't see something, if you can't see the dice roll, if you can't see the cards, that's just how it is. I use a camera phone. I don't have any sophisticated recording equipment, so that's just how it is. Reggie Sanders is the batter here in the second. He gets a 3-8, and that is against a righty, and that is going to be a fly ball to center field, and it's a deep fly ball. F8, one away. Eurebio Durazo gets a 6-8. He is a left-handed batter. And that's going to be a ground ball to second. So he goes out 4-3. to three. And that brings up Matt Williams, the third baseman. And he gets a 3-7, and that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. 6-3. And no runs come in for Arizona. We go to the bottom of the second. Yankees coming to bat here with Scott Brocious up at the plate. Anderson is still out there for the moment, especially since the pitchers don't bat in this game. 2-9 uh, against the lefty. That's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. So he goes out 6-3. Soriano is up. Alfonso Soriano, no. And he gets a 5-3. He is a righty. Um, and that is going to be a double. So Soriano ripping a double. The Yankee attack is just relentless here against Anderson. Chuck Knobloch is up. He gets a 5-4. He is a righty. That is going to be a home run by Chuck Knobloch if uh, he is... he And his power is normal against the lefty, so it is a home run. So Knobloch, man, Knobloch has been key here. And Anderson gives up his fifth hit and his sixth overall run. It's hard to believe that this guy only allowed two runs or was involved as the starting pitcher in a game where the Yankees only got two runs in real life. But Jeter is the batter. He gets a 6-8. And that is going to be a single. And the Yankee attack just continues. I mean, at this point, you really should just let Anderson pitch. I mean, I guess in real life, no manager would really do that. 6-2. Um, and that's going to be a single. I mean, <laughs> I, but I suppose if you want the Yankees to stop hitting, at some point you would have to say, listen, you know, I know I'm chancing burning my bullpen here, but 6-3. Um, and this is for Bernie Williams. He would be batting right. That is a, um, that's going to be a line out to shortstop, thankfully. Line out six, and then Tino Martinez is the batter with two men on and two down. And he gets a 5-5, five, five, and that is going to be... <laughs> Ah, home run. Unbelievable. Tino Martinez goes yard. I mean, this is this is the worst pitching performance I think I've seen from a Stratomatic pitcher or a real-life pitcher or any kind of pitcher. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three. Let's, what is it? Eight, four, five. Nine. It's nine. Nine runs. And Posada is up. They're going to let him get through the second because they don't want to bring somebody in in the second inning. But uh, this is a, that's a 5-3. 
and he is going to be batting right. And that is going to be a double. This is really, this is crazy. Shane Spencer gets a 5-11. 5-11 batting right, and that is going to be a fly ball left field X. The left fielder is a 3. That is a 4. That might be bad. That is bad. It's a, du it's a double. So uh, Shane Spencer hits a double. I really should just keep the guy in and see how bad he does, but... Yeah, again, that wouldn't be real life. In fact, in real life, he'd be gone already. But one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's ten runs. Ten runs in two innings. I mean, Bob Brenly would really have pulled him by now. Um, and now we're up to... Um, Was that, was that Spencer that just doubled? I'm going to say it was, and so Brocious is up. Brocious gets a 4-9. 4-9 batting right. That's going to be a fly ball center field. So Brocious got out two times in the same inning, and um, we are going to the... Um, so they got one, two, three, four, five, six runs there. The Yankees have a 10 0 lead, top of the third inning. So Mark Grace is the batter against Clemens. 2 4, that is a fly ball to left. One out. Damian Miller gets a 1 9, that is going to be a strikeout. And that is the first strikeout for Clemens. He has also allowed a hit. And Tony Womack is up, and he gets a 5-10. 5-10, left-handed batter. It's a ballpark single, and it is. It's a single. Womack is aboard. They need base runners, so he's not going to try to steal. Normally, he might try that, but he isn't going to there. And 3-8, um, Council is up, and he grounds out to the shortstop, 6-3. to three. And uh, no runs come in for Arizona. We go to the bottom of the third, and we are going to take Anderson out, as fun as it would be to see how many runs he actually would allow. <laughs> If I kept him out there, we are not going to do that. We are actually going to bring in um, Greg Swindell. He will come in for Arizona. He is a lefty, just like Anderson was. Anderson went two. He allowed ten hits and ten runs, all earned, and Swindell is in. Um, yeah, Alfonso Soriano is the batter here in the bottom of the third. Forgot to move it to the top of the third, the last inning. 1-7 against a lefty, that's a single. So, uh, Soriano is on with a hit. Swindell faces one guy, and he gets a board. Chuck Knobloch is up. He gets a 6-9. He is a right-handed batter. That's going to be a fly ball center field. One away. First time he's been out this game. Derek Jeter, the captain, is up. He gets a 2-9. That is going to be a strikeout. Swindell strikes out the captain. That's the first strikeout for an Arizona pitcher. And Paul O'Neill comes up, and he gets a 1-8, and that's going to be a ground ball second base. So he's out 4-3. to three. Swindell comes in and shuts the Yankees down, but they're already ahead 10-0. So 
unless the Arizona lineup can start to generate some serious run, I don't think that's going to matter. Steve Finley is the batter, and he, they got to do this against Roger Clemens, too. He gets a 5-7 batting left. That is a strikeout. Clemens with only his second strikeout of the game. Luis Gonzalez gets a 6-8 left-handed batter. And that's going to be a ground ball A. So that's two um, to second base. So that's two away. And Reggie Sanders is the batter. And that's a 5-4. He's a right-handed batter. And that's going to be a catcher card X. That's Posada. Posada is a 3-E-4. That is an 8. Probably going to go into his E rating. No, it isn't. And it is an out. So uh, Sanders is out uh, two to one, two to three. And we are going to the bottom of the fourth with the Yankees batting against Swindell, who is working his second inning after relieving Anderson, who was totally hapless in his two innings of work. And Bernie Williams comes up. He gets a 210 against a lefty. That's going to be a single. So Bernie Williams getting a single here in the bottom of the fourth. Swindell gives up his second hit. Tino Martinez gets a 6-8 batting left. That is going to be a ground ball second base X. The second baseman is Council. He is a 2E4. That is a 15. So let's see what that is. That's going to be a ground ball double play. So they needed that very badly. Uh, 4 6 3 double play. And Posada is the batter. Jorge Posada. He gets a 3 7. And uh, that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. He goes out 6-3. to three. Now, normally, if this were a regular season game, I would put in all the backups for the Yankees. And like I say, I'm not... The only thing that I'm following is the starting lineups and the starting pitching, the starting pitchers. After that, it's just what I think should be done. Um, and so, like I say, normally if this was a regular season game, I would put in the backups for the Yankees, maybe even for the Diamondbacks. But this is a World Series game. The Diamondbacks have to try to win it, and the Yankees want to make sure they win it. So I am not, at this point, going to do that just yet. Eurebiel Durazo is going to be the batter um, here in the top of the top of the fifth. Yeah, that's where we are. 6-8 is going to be a ground ball to second base. So DeRazzo bounces out 4-3. to three. One away. And Matt Williams is up. Matt Williams gets a 4-4. Four, four. He is a right-handed batter. That's going to be a fly to center. That is going to be a Bernie Williams. He's a 2-E-2. Two -E -two. Probably going to be an out. That's my guess. And it is. So there's two down. And that brings up Mark Grace. And he gets a 5-10 left-handed batter. And that is going to be an out. He will um, get a fly ball right field. The old F9, we go to the, um, let's see, that was, yeah, that was the fifth. So, yeah, we go to the bottom of the fifth, and um, Shane Spencer is the batter. Swindell is still out there. He's pitched well, so, and they're trying to win this, and he was a starter at one point in his career. Not in 2001, but at one point in his career. 412 is uh, righty, a right-handed batter, 
and that's going to be a possible home run, but it is not. So it is going to be a fly ball to right. Shane Spencer with the fly ball to right. F9 bottom of the, to lead off the bottom of the fifth for the Yankees. Scott Brocious, Scotty Brocious, and he is going to get a strikeout. Brocious gets the K right in the middle of everything. And that brings up Alfonso Soriano. And he gets a 6-9. He is a right-handed batter. And um, that's going to be a fly ball to center. So no runs come in for the Yankees uh, in the fifth. They still maintain their 10-0 lead. We go to the top of the sixth. Is that right? Yes, that's, that's what I got in the scorebook. So hopefully I didn't miss something again. When there's a lot of scoring, I, get, I tend to get sidetracked. Plus I'm old now, so um, it's not as easy as it used to be. Um, Damian Miller is the batter. The rocket is still out there. No reason he wouldn't be, and he would insist on staying out there. 3-7 uh, is going to be a single. So Damian Miller leads off with a hit here in the sixth. Tony Womack is up. He gets a 3-3. Three, three. Um, that is going to be a foul out to the catcher. One away. Craig Council's the batter. 4-3. He is a left-handed batter. And that is going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. That's Brocious. He's a 2-E-30. That is a 19. Probably going to be an out. And it is. It's a ground ball B, though. So Brocious, or uh, Womack is the one, or C Council is the one that's safe. And Miller is now off the bases. And that brings up Steve Finley. And he gets a 1-7, and that is going to be a single-level asterisk. So Steve Finley hits a single. That moves uh, Council over to third. And... Let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, he's allowed four hits, yep. And Luis Gonzalez is the batter. Now, they could use a home run from Luis Gonzalez right here. That would be helpful. It's a 4-10. He is a left-handed batter. That is going to be a... That is going to be a fly ball center field. So, Gonzalez does not do that. And... The Diamondbacks do not get any runs in the sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Now, uh, Swindell's going to come out. He's pitched three. He gave up two hits and no runs. Came close, had some a couple of deep fly balls, but he did not give up any runs. He did his job. He held the Yankees. Uh, scoreless after that uh, disastrous start by Brian Anderson. But now we will have to see. They're going to bring in uh, a guy that's not that good just because, you know, this game is out of hand. They're going to bring in Troy Brohan. In 2001, he was 2-3 and three with a 493 earned run average in 49 innings pitched. So Troy Brohan, and he is a lefty, so it's a string of lefties coming in here. And uh, Chuck Knobloch is going to be the batter um, here in the bottom of the sixth. Yep. He gets a 5-7 right-handed batter. And uh, that's going to be a single. So he's aboard. 
Now, he did steal back in the first inning, but now they are winning by quite a few runs, and baseball etiquette would dictate that you don't try to steal when you're up by 10 runs. 5-10 for Derek Jeter. That is a 5-10 from a right-handed batter. That is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop for Arizona is a 3-E-32. So that's a 6. 6 and 3 is going to be a ground ball C. So um, Knobloch moves up to second base with the captain getting out on a fielder's choice and uh, Paul O'Neill, the batter. Paul O'Neill gets a 2-9 and against the lefty, that's going to be a single to left field. Um, let's see, who was that? That is... Um, Yeah, that's um, that is Knobloch. Knobloch is a running, running one to fifteen. They are going to send him. That is the second hit given up by Brohan. One to fifteen. I'm going to roll the bones, and it's a sixteen. And that was to um, that was to center field, and. His throwing arm, it, I mean, I think he's probably going to be out, but um, yeah, and center fielder's arm is a negative one, so he's thrown out at the plate, which they really don't care, but you know, I mean, if you're knob lock and you're on the bases, I know that there's baseball etiquette, but if you're on the bases and you're knob lock and you're fast, you're going to try to score, but it ends up, he doesn't score. And he is out, and that is going to be the second out with Bernie Williams, the batter. And he gets a 6-6. Six, six. Um, he would be batting right, and that is a fly ball right field. So the Yankees get no runs only because Knobloch was thrown out at the plate. Um... But they really, again, they don't care because it's a 10 nothing lead here going to the top of the seventh. And Reggie Sanders is the batter. Um, Brohan is still going to be out there. Or, um, or, or uh, Clemens. Clemens will be out there at least for the seventh. Maybe we'll make a change next inning. We'll see 6-2. Uh, righty. And uh, he's batting right. And that's going to be a fly ball to left. F7, nobody's on. There's one out. Eurebiel Durazo gets a 211, and he is hit by a pitch. So he'll go down to first. By the way, um, that was a hit by pitch plus injury, but I'm not going to use injuries because um, uh, we've got, we're trying to use real lineups. Uh, every game to st at least to start and if somebody got injured that was going to start later games in real life that really would throw that off so we're not going to do that Matt Williams is the batter he gets a 1-8 and that is going to be a line out to third two away and that brings up Mark Grace and he gets a 4-6 batting. He's a left-handed batter. And that's a strikeout. And that is surprisingly only the third strikeout for Clemens. So uh, no runs for the Diamondbacks in the seventh. We go to the bottom of the seventh. And um, I guess, let's see. Brohan, did he pitch two, three, four, five? Six. No, he only pitched one. I'll keep him out there for right now. Tino Martinez is up. He gets a 6-7 left-handed batter. And that's going to be a walk. 
So Tino Martinez draws a walk here in the seventh. Jorge Posada gets a 110 against a lefty, and that's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher, and it will, let's see, and A, and it's a double play. So that's going to be a 1-4-3, we'll call it, double play, and Shane Spencer is the batter. And he gets a 4-12 right-handed batter. And that is going to be a single to right field. Spencer with a hit. Brohan allows his third hit. And Brocious is up with a 2-7. And that's going to be a walk. So the Yankees have two guys on here. And Alfonso Soriano gets a 2-6, and that's going to be a strikeout. And I believe that's Brohan's first strikeout. It is, according to my book. No runs in the seventh. We go to the top of the eighth with uh, the Diamondbacks coming to the plate. They will take Clemens out, so Clemens... Goes seven, he allows four hits, no runs at all, and he strikes out only three guys. And um, They will bring in Randy Choate. I believe Randy Choate appeared in this series in game one. And he did appear in the real series too, I think. And um, Damian Miller will be the batter, the first guy to face for Randy Choate. And he gets a 2-2, and uh, Choate is a lefty, so that's a fly ball to left, one away. Tony Womack is up. 6-5, he is a left-handed batter. That is going to be a strikeout. Choke with his first K. And Craig Council. Craig Council gets a 110 against the lefty. That's ground ball short. We go to the bottom of the eighth. We are going to take out Brohan, so Brohan is only going to go two. He gave up three hits and no runs. He almost gave up a run, but um, Knobloch got gunned at the plate trying to score. Okay. They will bring in Robert Ellis to pitch. And the first guy he's going to face is um, Knobloch here in the bottom of the eighth. Yep. You get the 311 uh, righty on righty. And uh, so let's see. That's going to be a ground ball to second base. Now block is out. 
four to three. Derek Jeter, the captain, is up. He gets a six three right handed batter. And that's going to be a ground ball to third base. So two away. He goes out five to three. And Paul O'Neill is up. And he gets a two nine, and that is going to be a single. So Paul O'Neill's aboard with a single. First hit allowed by Robert Ellis. Bernie Williams gets a 6-8. He would be batting left. And that would be a pop out to short. No runs come across for the Yankees. We go to the top of the ninth. And the uh, Diamondbacks need 10 runs right here. The Yankees scored four in the first, six in the second, and then nothing the rest of the game. Um, and the Arizona Diamondbacks haven't scored anything yet. Steve Finley I have as the batter, and that is what it what the situation is. Choke will stay out there. 5-7, he is a left-handed batter. That's going to be a ground ball to second. Um, the second baseman is, for the Yankees, is a 3-E-20. Is a, uh, um, and that is a nine. And so we're going to look at the E20. Six. E20 is an E1. So Finley is aboard on an air by the second baseman, who is Soriano. And Gonzalez will be the batter. He gets a 4-9 left-handed batter. And that is going to be a double to right field. Now, of course, the Diamondbacks need runs, a lot of them. So they're not going to try, they're not going to do anything stupid and get somebody thrown out. Um... And Reggie Sanders steps to the plate. And he gets a 4-5. He's a right-handed batter. That is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. One away. Six to three. Uribe Dorazo comes up. He gets a 2-9. Two 2-9 nine. Two nine against a lefty, and that's going to be a strikeout. And that brings up Matt Williams. Matt Williams gets a 5-8 right-handed batter. And that's going to be a ground ball to first. And that is the game. So, uh, your final score here is Yankees 10, Diamondbacks nothing. In real life, it was only 2-1. to one. And uh, that also means that the New York Yankees in this replay take a two games to one lead, whereas in real life, the Yankees were down two games to one. And that is it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.